Yuri, now we're going for a drive. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari F12. Berlinetta with launch control, but I'm not gonna use it. Rolling launch. Horsepower and torque. 731 horsepower, 509 pound-feet of torque from a naturally aspirated 6.3 liter V12. So this was the most horsepower in a Ferrari at the time when it came out. Yes, this was the fastest Ferrari at the time, which yep. is insane. And this is <laughs> rear-wheel drive as well. Yes, this is terrifying to drive. Straight up, this is the scariest car I've ever driven in my entire life. I agree. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason we're finally driving a Ferrari is because we got this from OB Prestige in Gatineau, Quebec. Yeah, huge shout out to them for getting us into a Ferrari. They actually specialize in hypercars, exotics, supercars, crazy unique vehicles like this one, and another one that we're also reviewing called the Renault Sport Clio V6. So is it weird that the first Ferrari we're reviewing has the engine at the front and it's not in red? Yes, kind of. However, it was the fastest Ferrari ever built at the time. So, I mean, that's pretty damn cool. Most powerful. Sorry, yes. So we should probably start with the looks. Uh, can we start with some horsepower and torque a little bit more? Jesus Christ. Okay. I've never been so scared. So many things going on right there. Number one, I have shift lights on my steering wheel, which are amazing. Best, best feature ever. Ever. If you buy a Ferrari and don't option that, you're stuck. Number two, that exhaust sound. Naturally aspirated V12. It sounds amazing inside and out. My favorite part is that when you just rev it, the tack flies so quickly. Nothing weird, nothing slow. Just yeah, like the lightest flywheel ever. And this has a seven speed dual clutch and it shifts really quick. I guess I kind of expected it to be a little bit slower. I'm not really sure why, maybe because it's a little bit older, but it is super quick. Very, 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 very fast. I can almost say super fast because the 812 super fast is what came out after this. And I can't even imagine how fast that is because I would actually classify this as super fast. This is, this is scary fast. This is insane. Yuri and I have never been scared to drive a car. This is terrifying, like straight up terrifying. Like how many times have you floored this? Uh, three. Yeah, I, I still haven't. Maybe I think I did once in automatic just to see what it would do and then let off. And I only did it in a straight line, only did it in sport mode. I haven't touched race mode because I'm not a psychopath. There's two modes beyond that which are even crazier. I'm not willing to write this car off, so I'd love to drive this on a racetrack one day. Ferrari, hook it up, send yeah. us to Marinello. <laughs> I, need to, I need to drive Ferraris on the track. And to shift the car, we have column mounted paddles because this is a Ferrari, just like we have in the Alfa Romeo and the Maserati. I'm gonna use them right now. I feel like my eyes are gonna bulge out of my head. I don't think we've actually shifted at full red line yet. I we maybe see, touched see it. Five lights on the steering wheel. Like, I don't, I don't know, yeah. I see more room, but I'm going. Red line is 8,700 RPM. 9,000 is my favorite. Let's just call 87 my second favorite. <laughs> but shifting this or a GT3 RS at full RPM? GT3 RS is definitely less scary to shift. Yeah, so I, so this kind of wins? Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, looks, can we talk about yeah, looks? Yeah, yeah, let's get to the looks. The front end, it's got a nice big Ferrari grill. I like to think of it as like a big open smile mouth. Yeah, I can see that. And the engine is up front, but this is mid front engine. So it is still a mid engine vehicle, which is obviously a supercar. Oh. Well, we're going to have to do the supercar checklist in a bit. But my favorite part about the front end is the Ferrari emblems. Yes, the prancing horse. Oh, maybe they got two of them up there. It is so cool. It really is. And then we also have a carbon fiber front lip, which looks amazing. We do have a nose lift system. Thank God it's a simple button on the dash and it works really quickly. And the headlights are very cool. Nice and simple line. Yeah, but overall very aggressive front end. It looks like an insane maniac smiling at how scared you're going to be. Yeah, exactly. It's like not as aggressive as a 458 kind of thing, but it's 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 aggressive in its own manner. Okay, and then from the side view, do you like the front engine Ferrari look or would you prefer a mid-engine Ferrari look? The rear mid-engine Ferrari look for sure, like a 458, but this is kind of its own very special thing because it kind of looks like a muscle car because the hood is so long. Well, Ferraris had a lot of front engine cars back in the day too. Yeah, for sure. I think I like the whole idea of the engine in the back. Yes, exactly. What's, what's your favorite Ferrari? 
Look, looking wise, uh, looks wise. F40, just everything in general. Mine is F50. And yeah. then, do you like the Enzo more or do you like the LaFerrari more? I think I like the Enzo more. Same, but the LaFerrari is cool. Yes, and something I didn't realize until I actually got up close with one of these, it has kind of like a flying buttress in the front of the hood, which is amazing looking. Yeah, it looks really cool. And then all the hood lines and everything are great. I should probably mention this color. So it's a matte gray. Really cool, and it looks amazing in all light. And from the side view, the shadow from the body line on the door is insane. I've never seen that much variation. And this is a factory paint, and I believe this is one of the only ones in Canada, if not North America. And I really like how these wheels look. They're nice and simple, but they're also super elegant. And the fact that you can see those massive calipers through there, love. They're so bright. It's such a bright, weird red. Yeah, I know. I've never seen a red shine that much on a caliper. And then what would be the Continental recommended tire for the Ferrari F12? The Extreme Contact Sport. And then moving back a little bit, we've got very aggressive shoulders slash hips. Yeah, but overall, pretty sexy looking styling. I I'll say this car is sexy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then at the very back, we've got a very nice two circle taillight design which I really like on yes, Ferraris. Yes, very classic Ferrari, I love it. And we've got some diffuser at the bottom, we've got the double dual exhaust but the body color goes through down to the middle which I think is a very nice touch which makes it stand out from a lot of other cool cars. Yeah, totally agree. Normally it'd be like all blacked out and kind of look aggressive but we also have like a really cool F1 inspired light back there which is exactly yeah. straight off Formula One cars because yeah, Ferrari has those. <laughs> They're not doing too well this season but they still got Formula One cars. <laughs> so I think we're done with the looks. I'm just gonna downshift again because yeah. Oh my God, okay. It shifts so fast. Like this seven speed transaxle is amazing. Transaxle, eh? Yes, yes, it's got a transaxle. So to finish it off looks wise, front engine or mid engine? Mid engine. Okay. Mid rear engine, because and, this is still mid engine. And then do you like the looks of this more than the older California? Uh, I like this more, and I think I like the 812 Superfast even more. I like the older California more than this. It's got that 2000 style, so you know I'm in love with all the things from that era. Yeah, yeah. All right, so on to some handling of this Ferrari. As you'd expect, it's razor sharp. Like, it has literally like laser precision. Wherever I point, wherever I look, the car just goes there. The uh, steering is amazing. It's almost too sharp. My body's not used to that. Yeah, the steering rack is so quick that we really haven't driven a car like this. It's very different than every other exotic car that we've driven. McLarens have really good steering and I always compliment them for it, but this is really, really good. It's just, it's just faster. Yeah, I would say like, there's not that much feedback, but I almost don't need it because I have full confidence in what it's gonna do in turns, not exactly going straight because I'm kind of terrified to floor it all the time. Yeah, yeah. But the suspension is also kind of stiff, but we do have a different mode for the suspension. So if we hit the suspension button on our steering wheel, we also have bumpy road and sport. So you can actually change it, which is pretty cool because we do have magnetorheological suspension. That's a lot. Yeah, but let's get you behind the wheel and so you could floor this. Oh God. <laughs> There's so much horsepower. <laughs> All right, supercar checklist. Is it fast and is it loud? Yes and yes! Does it get a lot of attention? Hell yeah, it does, even in this silver color. It's still a Ferrari. Yeah, I mean, you see this on the road, you're like, everybody's guy, looking. That guy's special. Do the doors go up? No. Unfortunately, they don't. Do you look cool getting in or out? Yes, because there's no struggle to get in or out. Exactly, it's very classy. Does it have a gimmicky steering wheel? Yes, it does. It's got shift lights on it. And it's got your turn signals built into your steering wheel as well. And on the very back, it's got buttons for your radio, just like a yeah, lot yeah. of Chrysler products. <laughs> is there a lot of carbon fiber? Yes. yes, yes there is. Puns everywhere. The entire chassis isn't made of it, but in here, exquisite. Can it fit a box? Box test. One box. Oh, it does, that's a supercar fail. What about the visor test? Uh, let's do a careful one. Three, two, one. Uh, fail, so a supercar pass. But I love all the hand stitching on the visor. Yes. And then will it fit a cup of coffee? We got a medium Timmy's and it fits perfectly, so that's a supercar fail. So is this a supercar? I would say yes. Yes, 100%, this is a supercar. This is the fastest car we've driven, like yeah. the scariest. I feel like every Ferrari is automatically a supercar. Yes. And if we move on to this interior, it does feel pretty basic because it is a supercar. You don't have all these like weird screens and everything. We actually have no infotainment screen, but we have some screens in the gauge cluster next to the tack. Yeah, so the infotainment is actually 
actually to the right, sort of. Yeah, it's like pretty basic. Oh, you can you get navigation, you get your media, phone, radio, the radio and stuff you control through here, which isn't actually that awkward because if you have like a rotary dial or a touchpad, you would either be down here, this one's just here, it's fine. Yeah, it's totally weird having that, but in actual use, it just kind of works. It makes perfect sense. And then on the left, we've got main and your vehicle dynamic assist button, and you can go through the screens on the left so you can see your tire temperature and pressure, which is really nice because kind of might have trouble hooking up sometimes because there's so much power and you can see your speedo and everything but sometimes you don't see your speedo at all all you see is that amazing tack in the middle which i would say is as good if not better than all porsche tacks with your gear in a big number right there it's perfect and uh, i do like looking at this little yellow logo right here on the steering wheel i love it as well and then as for climate we actually have hard buttons everywhere yeah except to control them it's kind of arrows all over the place it takes a couple minutes to get used to but overall very functional and then to get into gear when you start the car you need to put your foot on the brake and click the right paddle to put it into drive. If we click both, we can go into neutral. Yes, and rev at people, which is great. And then you also have your reverse and your toggle between manual shifting and automatic right here. Then up here, we've got the button for the nose lift, which we talked about earlier. And then we also have the camera button, which is very cool because it'll show the front camera. And if you click it again, you can also have it show both sides of the camera and it's a cool transition. And when you go to reverse, it looks like it's flipping through another screen, which is kind of old school, but I kind of like old school stuff in fancy Italian cars. Yeah, and then this overall center console and carbon fiber looks really cool. It's such a classy looking interior. It's not over the top, it's just right. And I like seeing that F12 Berlinetta badge. And the seats are actually very stiff, but they haven't been uncomfortable since we sat in them. Yeah, no, they're, they're very firm. Very well bolstered though. Good for going fast. And they are carbon buckets, so they look amazing. Too bad you can't have people back there so they can see them. But it is really cool to have like this luggage strap back here and extra carbon fiber. And it is a hatchback, so let's look at all that room again, even though we just did the box test. Is this the hottest hatch? Even though. <laughs> <laughs> and then the coolest part is for the passenger, they've got a little thing to put their feet against at the bottom because they're going to be holding on for dear life. Yes, I love bracing against that. And then we also have some of the coolest vents I've ever seen. I love them. Yeah, and they're manually adjustable. It's very nice. Encased in carbon fiber, my favorite. And I think that's pretty much it with this Ferrari F12. I think we should get to the price. Well, this one's currently for sale at OB Prestige Auto for $379,995. That's a lot of money, but it's a very fast Ferrari, and I think it's totally worth it for somebody who wants this, especially in this color, which is super rare. Yeah, and it's totally in line with something that it would compete with at the time, which would be like a Lamborghini Aventador, maybe even like a Mercedes AMG SLS Black Series. How about Aston Martin? Do they compete with this? Yeah, this would be like the V12 Vanquish or one of those, I forget, but we haven't driven one of those, so I can't really say it. And this was around $350,000 Canadian to start when it was brand new, so it's retained its value quite well as Ferraris normally do. And as a camera guy, it's been really refreshing filming Ferrari logos, because I've never had a chance to film one of those before. And if you're interested in this car or other hypercars or exotic cars or just super rare cars, check out OB Prestige Auto. They're located in Gatineau, Quebec. Check them out on Instagram. Let us know what else we should